there are so many people affected by cancer. The person who has been diagnosed, but then there's the family member, uh, friends, everybody. And we treat and help the individual, uh, the family, uh, the team, uh, and the heart and soul. And my mom was diagnosed in 1998 with ovarian cancer. You know, when you get that information, it's so overwhelming. You don't know how to process it. You don't know what to do. How do you help? What do you do? And that's when I sort of awakened to wellness centers. And that's how it all started. We're working with the hospital, we're working with the doctors so that what we're doing has the science base to it, which is very important. But at the same time, you also have the emotion and the touch on top of that. By listening and utilizing the best evidence-based Western medical approaches as well as the best evidence-based wellness-enhancing approaches to care, we're creating a circle around the patient with the patient at the center driving their own care. And how do we go about doing that? Um, it's different for every individual, depending on what their cancer is or if it's a, a caregiver. And we listen to them and what their needs are, what their wants are. We'll then customize the program around that. I think this is such a huge part is this element of it, is that integrative therapy. I mean, that's what I would want, and, that, and that's what we try to provide, and I know that's what my mother wanted. I am Kevin Hunter. I was diagnosed in 2013 with a cancerous brain tumor, and I was almost forced to come to the Dempsey Center, and I am very grateful for that. I was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer at age 27. Um, my world came crashing down on me, obviously. And it was like I died inside. Like, not me, not now. Like, really, I'm 27 years old with this. I'm Laura, and um, my story is long and confusing because I have a very rare disease. Before I went to the dentist center, I felt like I just wanted to be in a shell. I didn't want to talk to anyone. It's definitely not a normal place. <laughs> kind of like a sanctuary, but it makes you feel normal. I appreciate life a lot more because they've taught me how to appreciate life. When you walked in here, you, you see smiles, you see people who care. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have this, to be very honest with you. There's so much positives to this, to this disease, just as there is negatives, if you want to use it that way. There are no words that can make it better, um, but if here at the Dempsey Center, it feels like you don't have to have the right words that you know it's just natural conversation and it just makes you feel better they know about caregivers they know how tough it is and they're very sympathetic to your needs because it is almost like a full-time job it's so nice to be able to have some support otherwise you're just you don't know what to do you don't know where to turn when I was originally diagnosed with the cancer that I have. It is a very rare cancer and there is no cure. At the beginning of my journey, I don't want to call it necessarily despair, but it was more an acceptance of what the reality would likely be. But then I discovered that that reality had color to it and it was like you know all of the wonderful fruits and vegetables that we eat the Dempsey Center has reinforced that and that's very empowering I don't really get like as I would say angry as much or stressed I kind of or like cry as often that's what I've noticed too like have a lot of anxiety or anything like I feel Sounds messed up, but happy and <laughs> like... Left to my own devices, I'm a mess as you can see. <laughs> you know? But I've learned that these tears are tears of joy too. Because I can sit here, it's an honor for me to be here. It all is like the building blocks to 
to help me get through the treatment that's necessary for me to move on with my life. Hope means that I can have a long marriage and have a family and live, you know, the full extent of everybody else's life. We're all there for each other. We're kind of like a family, actually. I think we all learn that uh, there is hope for today and also for tomorrow.